What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. It's Stardust aka Danielle aka Danielle aka Stardust. So yeah, I'm back with another pick a card obviously judging by the title you already know this is going to be what do they love the most about you? This person on your mind, what do they love about you? Um, So of course two pals. I have the Amethyst Tower. Hopefully my... Yeah, there we go. So yeah, the Amethyst Tower... Um, you could be very spiritual. You could be um, born in February or um, you could be Aquarius or Pisces because this is their um, birthstone. But if not, you could just be very spiritual, very um, intuitive. You could be, um, you know, very protective as well of yourself or others. Um, and pile number two is going to be the Tiger's Eye Tower so pretty and tiger's eye resonates with the solar plexus amethyst resonates with the um the third eye in your crown chakra but tiger's eye resonates with your solar plexus so you could be really courageous fearless you could be um a very strong person also as well very protective but if not if that didn't resonate with you you can just choose a pile pile one pile two and i'm going to go right ahead and get started with pile one okay Okay, guys, if you chose Pow One, the Amethyst Tower, this reading is for you. What do they love the most about you? Your person. Oh. So, right away, I'm getting that this person could love your compassion. Um, this person could love that you you maybe get your wish as well. Maybe you seem abundant as well. This person loves the fact that you shine some type of universal light. You could be like a worldly person. I don't even know what that terminology means, but I just got that. Like you could be like a worldly person or you love to travel or something. This person loves the fact that you love to travel. You, you're a worldly person. This person loves your body. This person loves to see you naked or this person wants to see you naked. This person could love the way that you dress as well, the different fabrics and especially if you wear like really flowy things droopy like drapey type things um this person loves your feet this person loves your feet this person loves your body as well it doesn't matter if you are thin and look like this or it doesn't matter if you have more a body yaddy 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 if you're more curvish you know um this person could definitely love your body um This person could love your compassion. This person could love how passion, passionate you are about things. This person could love how you are a little obsessive as well about things. Maybe you are attached to what you're attached to, you know? Um, yeah, this person could love that you're rooted in whatever you are. Like, you're bound to whatever you're bound to, you know? Um, but you still like to travel here. Maybe... Um, even if this is not your traveling, this person could love your um, your social media platform as well. Like the World Wide Web, this could, the person could love your, you know, you online. But yeah, this person could love the fact that maybe you meditate, you connect with universal light, you connect with the world. Um, you're bound to them. This person could love that you're connected to them and bound to them. Like maybe this person loves your wishes, the abundance that you manifest, the things that you bring into fruition. But yeah, this person could definitely love your feet and your behind. Um, if you're a male, this person could love the way that you stand. If you drive fast, even if you're a female, this person could love the way that you drive fast or love your car. Um, someone could definitely love the way that you look when you're sleeping or your eyes are closed. Someone could definitely love the, the necklace that you wear or the jewelry that you wear here. I was picking up that energy heavy for pile number two, so definitely watch pile number two as well. But when I was shuffling, I was getting that energy, but... I'm seeing someone like a lot of bare skin here. So someone could definitely love your body and your nakedness. And maybe the way that you pose, 
for pictures or on the or on the internet as well. So I'm, um, yeah, how you stand or something. This person could love the way that you walk into a room. Yeah, this person could love that you're like out of this world as well. Like I'm getting like this outer space energy here, like this outer the world energy here and here. But um, this person could love that you um, you like new beginnings as well. But this person could love the fact that you're out of this world, like you're not of this world. Let me get a channel message. I wasn't going to do this, but I guess I'll get one since this is like so short and like sweet. This person could love the fact that you're the star of the show. Um, you possibly have like really positive self-talk. Maybe people say really positive things about you. You could have fans and crushes or you could just give like main character energy. Everyone could love you, especially like people on the internet. You know, um, you could be popular online or you could just be popular in the world. <laughs> you know, um, people get really attached to you or obsessive over you. Um, I feel like this person loves the fact that you, um, are popular and you get lots of attention. You could be well known, the it person, or just really popular amongst your friends and family. You could have a really attractive energy and you just could be a winner, you know, um, that goes after new beginnings. They're not afraid to travel here. Um, and maybe too, this person could love that you think outside the box as well. I, I just got that heavy. Like, if you think differently, you think outside of this world, you know, um, this person could love that about you. And especially if your hair is, like, a different color. Like, uh, you change your hair up a lot. Your hair is curly, but you cut it short or you change it blue. Um, yeah, this person could love love that about you as well. yeah if you're really compassionate about plants about nature about maybe uh taking care of your finances about you just you're just really passionate about things about traveling here maybe eating healthy fruits and plants and vegetables and stuff and you're just uh p compassionate about the world i feel like this person loves that about you maybe this person loves the fact that you you want to be free you're um That you know how to take rest and breaks as well. And yeah, and that this person loves that maybe you're balanced and in and, and, and your routine as well. That you keep a good routine as well. So yeah, um, I know that was short and sweet, but that's what I'm getting here. This person loves that you come off, you know, as abundant. And they love your body and being bound to you. And... Um, yeah that's all I'm getting guys and I hope that resonated and if not you can always check out Powell number two which is the tiger's eye Powell and if not look out for my future readings that's going to have similar topics so uh peace and blessings bye okay guys welcome back and this is Powell number two if you chose the beautiful courageous fearless amazing uh, tiger's eye this one is for you this could be how the person feels about you all those little adjectives I just threw in there um, but yeah let's see how this person what was it oh, I'm sorry um, why does this person love you so much like what makes you so great like why does this person love you I feel like this person right away I feel like this person loves how stable you are if you're a boss or an authority figure or a leader and you're really flexible you're really stable in this energy. I feel like somebody loves that about you. Someone loves that you're patient. You know how to go after things strategically. You take your time. You plant the proper seeds. And then you, uh, you know, maybe you communicate and then take action on what you want. But you're really strategic. And you, uh, you think like a boss here. 
um, I feel like this person loves the actions that you take and how you manifest abundance as well. And like I said, someone could love how flexible you are. You could be physically flexible or you just could be flexible with your mind and your ideas and your creativity and the clarity as well. Um, you could be flexible when it comes to your finances as well. This person loves that about you. This person could be, uh, you, they could love the fact that you're flexible with your stability as well. Um, I feel like this person loves the way that you communicate, maybe the messages that you send. I feel like this person loves the communication, you know, the way that you uh, say, maybe you say really nice things or sweet things. But yeah, you could, this person could love the way that you take action as well. But yeah, I was getting heavy energy on this. Um, I got a few channel messages before on my book before I asked when I was shuffling. But yeah, this person could love your sexu sexuality. If you're really freaky or, you know, um, you're... Yeah, your sexuality, um, something about it. This person loves it. Some, this person could love your jewelry, your body as well, and your hands um, for sure. And what did I write there? I can't even see. Oh, and the way that you stand. I was getting that maybe in the first one as well. Yeah, maybe the way that you stand or pose as well. But if you're like, if you do yoga, and you're flexible that way i feel like this person loves that and also i was getting that maybe this person loves how fair and balanced you are especially if it deals with like you doing yoga or stretching or exercising um or posing or if you're a model or something i feel like this person loves how balanced you are um spiritually balanced uh mature wise and also like the poses that you do but also, I love, I, I just said, I love the way you dress. But this person could love the way that you dress as well. If you come off really, like, you know, um, put together, but, like, relaxed and comfortable. Or then you can, like, turn it up and, like, be more extravagant like that. Especially if you're a man. This person could love that your manifestations come into fruition really quickly as well. This person could love the fact that you're fast. Or you take, you know, fast action. Things move fast in your life. I feel like this person likes that you're a great manifester. This person loves that you can shut your skin and create things um, as above, so below. You can make things manifest in your favor here. Again, I feel like this person definitely loves your hands, your body as well, your jewelry. You know, again, heavy on the, the way you stand. I don't know if you have an affinity with water or being around a pool or something here. But yeah, this person could love the fact that you love like horses or um, dogs as well, but mostly like horses or you like to travel. Um, this person could love that you're a dreamer as well. Um, if you are like, you know, you just think about things that you want or you talk about, if you communicate about like your ideas and your plans and the things that you want to manifest, the places you want to go, um, this person loves that you're a dreamer. Maybe you're a really sweet communicator. And like when you say like you're talking about something that you want to do, like you can really pull somebody in and get them to kind of like, you know, see it as well. Um, if you're like really good at fantasizing and bringing things in like this person likes that about you also too i was getting this i don't know i said maybe in the last one i was like maybe someone likes your uh, feet but i was like maybe this person likes the fact that you're always barefoot or you like your feet out um you like like walking barefoot as well Someone could love your nose. Yeah, someone could love your financial stability as well. <laughs> like, that's always a great reason to love someone. Someone loves the fact that you're financially stable. 
Um, maybe you're really responsible and mature with your finances. Um, maybe someone loves the fact that you are very strong and creative and courageous when it comes to like communicating things and putting things into motion. So I'm going to get like a channel message like I did for pile number one. And then I'm going to wrap it up. And I hope it resonated, guys. Don't forget to hit the like button. Um, but someone could like the fact that you go after your better options. Like you don't just settle for, you know, uh, what's put in front of you. Like this person loves the fact that you you don't go after what you want. You go after what you need. You, you know how to... It's like that delayed gratification, you know. You put your vices or your things to the side or whatever it is to go after what the things like you put priorities first you're really grounded that way you're very mature and responsible that way you'll you know if you want to go buy go shopping and or travel somewhere like you're going to make sure bills are paid things are done first before you start like traveling or going shopping on clothes and jewelry like this person loves that you're grounded and stable that way uh, let me get another channel message. So what does this person love the most about you? Ooh, see? Yeah, that your money is about to double. And that maybe you're a boss. You can have pocket watchers. Someone could love the fact that your hard work is paying off. That you have good spiritual karma. This person loves that you're maybe possibly lucky as well when it comes to finances. Um, that you have money coming in. That you're financially protected. Maybe this person loves that you are a hard worker. That you've been, um, you know, this person could like the fact that you take breaks as well. That you get back to your hobbies. Or this person, um, this person loves your self-care regimen as well. Maybe that you like to get rest. Um, you like to take time to, you know, be, you, you're flexible. You're really flexible. You know how to be flexible when it comes to like, you know, rest and work and taking breaks versus you know this person loves that about you like you know how to be a boss and you know how to be you know romantic and soft communicating whatever it is like this person loves that you know how to take breaks and things like that as well but you're also financially stable and uh, responsible when it comes to your finances and things so yeah what does this person love about you it means a lot so you can be um not of this world as well you can be different you know very unique spiritually aligned let's see what's first and the most about you yeah you're so attracted to me this person loves the way that you smell you could smell really good you could be funny and smart um i feel like this person loves your personality like i said maybe you could possibly stand out the way that you dress maybe the way that you manifest things this person loves um that you're magnetic Yeah, you could have a, definitely a great personality here and very stable energy. But yeah, um, I hope that resonated. Yeah, you're so hot. You're adorable. This person uh, looks, especially if you're like little, like shorter than them. Um, if this your person is tall and you're shorter than them. This person thinks you're so adorable. You're beauty. You're beautiful and amazing. And if not, if this is in reverse, if like you're the tall one and they're and they're the short one still this person thinks you're so hot like they love your long legs <laughs> they love how tall you are they don't care if they're shorter than you but yeah put it in reverse as well this person thinks you're beautiful and amazing this person loves everything about you actually um that you have a sexy body like i was saying earlier this person fantasizes about you and they think you're pretty much perfect in their eyes um this person loves the fact that maybe you like to spend time alone or they would like to spend time alone with you. But I feel like maybe that you have this independent energy that you're not afraid to like rest and go be off on your own and things like that. I feel like this person loves that about you. So, yeah, someone could have developed a crush on you as well. Um, this person definitely thinks you're smart and funny and you're their type. If this is a crush situation, um, this person is definitely feeling you. They're focused on you. And they probably want a second date if you guys haven't went out already. This person definitely wants to, like, um, take you on a date again or see you again. 
but yeah a strong emphasis on you being smart and funny and just like really flexible like you're probably like the the emperor or the empress if you're a masculine energy yeah you're definitely the emperor and if you're a feminine energy you're the empress like you can do it all you're really flexible with your energy you're kind of like pretty much their ideal person like perfect person so i hope that resonated guys and if not you can check out my future readings or another pile which is pile one the amethyst pile but um also like comment and subscribe that helps my videos circulate online um definitely hit that subscribe button hit that like button guys if you enjoyed this reading and peace